Also tonight, Ryan Whitmer takes his case to federal court. The man convicted of drowning his wife in the bathtub of their home is now trying to get a fourth trial. WLWT News Vice Karen Johnson was the only reporter in Dayton, Ohio for today's hearing. She's live in Lebanon where this case all started all those years ago. Karen. And Cherie, Ryan Widmer has been in prison since his sentencing here nearly five years ago. Several appeals have been denied, but today the U.S. District Court in Dayton agreed to hear oral arguments. Now, no cameras were allowed in the courtroom, but I can tell you Ryan Widmer's father, Gary, was there along with a handful of supporters. Just even walking up to a courthouse brings, you know, an overwhelming flow of emotions to me. This time, Gary Widmer is hoping for a different outcome for his son, Ryan. He's got support. He's got a lot of support. After three trials, Ryan Widmer was convicted of killing his wife, Sarah, by drowning her in the bathtub. He has maintained his innocence. Did you kill Sarah? No. Today, attorney Michelle Berry argued on his behalf in the U.S. District Court in Dayton. She says Widmer didn't get a fair trial. That's why we're here today. I mean, that's why we keep continuing to fight on, and, you know, the system works slow, but here we are. Berry argued lead detective Jeff Braley was a corrupt cop, and evidence presented was based on junk science. During the trial, criminalist Bill Hilliard testified smudges in the bathtub were from a male's forearm. Berry says that conclusion was not based on science, therefore not reliable. As for Braley, Barry told the magistrate the entire investigation could not be trusted because of who was in charge of it. After the third trial, details emerged about the lead detective, how he fabricated his resume to get promoted, and lied about being a member of the elite special forces paratroopers. Barry said today, Braley wasn't even commissioned to be a police officer while working for Hamilton Township. You can't make this stuff up, Barry told the magistrate. It is crazy. Had the defense known, she said this case would have taken a different direction. People believe in Ryan and as well as I do, and um, they're going to be here until the end. And Barry also wants to test DNA samples from Sarah Widmer, which the prosecutor has. The defense believes a genetic disorder may have caused Sarah to pass out in the bathtub. Now, it's likely to be several months before we hear the magistrate's ruling, before we know what the magistrate issues his opinion. Reporting live in Lebanon, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. All right, Karen, thank you. The attorney handling the appeal for the state argued that many of the issues brought up today are state issues and are not grounds for a federal review. Of course, we'll keep you updated.